Hello everyone, RaptorX here, and uh, today we're going to be making a sorting machine. Now last episode we went over the, the basics of uh, red power and uh, how to get all your basic machineries like the alloy furnace and uh, all the basic material you're going to need to make some of the items we're going to be making today. Now as you can see here I already started with the layout to get some, uh, some of the measurements going um, uh, and, and yes just not to waste so much time in, the, in today's episode. So yeah let's get started with the basics, well not, not the basics, the the recipes, I guess. Now, uh, we have some other items here, actually. So, what we're going to start doing first is uh, make some red doped wafers. And to do that, we use some of the silicon wafers we made last episode, and uh, we mix them with redstone. Now, that's going to start cooking. And uh, the first thing we want to make is uh, a filter. To make a filter, you need uh, just cobblestone, gold. A piston and that red dope, uh, red dope wafer I just mentioned. Now I'm not gonna go over how to make the piston again. It's a, even vanilla Minecraft, it's it's a basic piston. But I want you to notice that it has an EMC value. So what I usually do is just make one and then just condense the rest, and uh, and it just saves a lot of time. So let's grab a few of these and get started with the the first filter. Let's put a piston in the middle, cobblestone gold, here you go, and the red dope wafer I mentioned. Here you go, filter. Now we, we can use the filter to retrieve the items from um, from any chest as long as it receives a redstone signal. It has to be done via a, a timer and I'll show you guys how to make one of those in a, in a second. But what we want to do with the filter is also it's a main component for the, the sorting machine which is what we're going to be using here today. So I'll show you guys how to make that right away. There you go. So it's just uh, the filter in the middle, some uh, red dope wafers on the sides, blue alloy in the bottom, and just uh, some iron. So the, yeah, let's get that going. There you go. Um, some iron. There you go. And that's the the sorting machine. Now I already have all these, the items that we need for the sorting machine made. So I'm just going over some of the some of the recipes. If you have any questions. Uh, uh, just remember to leave a comment down below. Now, what else do we need to make? Now, uh, what we're gonna pretty much be doing is just the the basics of the sorting machine is uh, it's a color a color coding system pretty much. It assigns a color to the items that come through the sorting machine, and and then you just pretty much connect a pneuma uh, pneumatic pipe to the chest with the corresponding color. Now, if you noticed in the previous episodes in my uh, chemical bag, I have uh, a few paintbrushes. And that's what we use to color the pneumatic tubes. And uh, it's pretty basic, just you need it for a basic paintbrush, all you need is a uh, wool on a stick. But then to make the colors, it starts getting a little bit more interesting. So yeah, let's uh, look at the paintbrushes. I already have them made, so I'm not going to make them again. But yeah, just for a basic white uh, paint bucket, which is what you need to, to make the white paints, uh, use a white, white paint bucket with a paintbrush. And like I mentioned, just a stick with wool. And you need uh, the empty can, which you have to make uh, tin plates and make them in a U shape. And you do that by using an alloy furnace with uh, tin and iron ingots. Just put them in a U shape and then you mix it with bone meal and flax seeds. Now these, you can get them by just punching some grass. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what the percentage of, you, of uh, the drop is, but uh, so as soon as you get one, it has a very low EMC value, so you just condense the rest. And uh, to make different kinds of colors, they require different uh, uh, dyes. And to make each dye, it just gets a, uh, you know, it's kind of like a color palette. I made some of the basic colors, just, you know, with flowers and uh, lapis. And uh, that's what I have here. Here's a red flower, here's a cactus, lapis, and a uh, yellow flower. White is just a uh, bone meal. So I have the basic colors here. You can make these five rather quickly. If you want some of the other colors, then it's going to get a little bit. Uh, not complicated, but just more time consuming. So yeah, uh, that's how I got those. Well, let's see what else we have to make here. Uh, we have the sorting machine, the filters. Um, oh yeah, the timer. Now to make the timer, it's very, very, very annoying because uh, it requires a lot of pieces and it doesn't have an EMC value, as you can see. And uh, we need this to give the pulse to the, the filter that's gonna be retrieving the items from the chest. And uh, we're gonna make the, uh, one of these now. To make any of these pieces, you need a stone wafer, pretty much. 
And it's just stone. Uh, you smelt stone. It gives you two stone wafers. So let's get that started. Um, get in the, in the furnace here. So I'm st mm, have a couple stone. I'm pretty sure I had some stone somewhere. Oh, here we go. Let's skip one step. There we go. A few of those. I'm gonna actually stop it here. Come on. I only need, I believe, nine. Oh, come on, I missed one. I'm sure, I probably gone. These are done before the episode, but I will. Just a few minutes. And there you go. Now let's go back to the timer. Now you just need two regular stone wafers on top, so we got those two done. And I'm what I'm going to do here is just uh, start setting it up here in this table or else it starts getting messy then we need three of these stone wires it's just pretty much stone wafer with a redstone on top so we start doing that I believe I have some redstone somewhere oh uh, boy I used up most of it grab some more half a stack should be more than enough there you go some uh, stone wafers and uh, we need three right there you go. Put that in here, and uh, they go like this. Then uh, we need a stone pointer, which is stone wafer, redstone torch, and stone. Hopefully, I have some redstone torches in here. Yes, I do. Just gonna keep those in here for now. Put that in there. Stone on top, wafer in the bottom. There you go. Pointer. Uh, what else we have here? It's two stone anodes, which is just uh, three stone wafers and uh, redstone in a, I guess like a inverse T shape. Let's get that in there. There you go. It makes three of them, so that's good. We only need two, but that's fine for now. Just leave the extra one there. And then a uh, stone cathode, just stone wafer and a redstone torch. We have that here. Good thing I kept those out. And there you go, that's a timer. Now I'm just gonna leave that here. I already made one, just wanted to show you guys. It's a, it's a long process to make just one of them, so I would recommend just leaving a template in the project table and just making a load of these. Uh, a one go, it saves a lot of time later on. Uh, they're very useful, especially since uh, it sends a, p a pulse. Now, I'm gonna actually deposit all this stuff since I already have all the items I need over there. Oh, actually, I almost forgot. I need uh, copper and uh, tin here. And uh, what we're going to do with this is make the pneumatic tubes. So just put that in here, take that out, and it's going to start making some uh, some brass. Now we need two brass on each side, so we can grab that right now. Put that like this, and glass in the middle. It's just kind of like a like a regular pipe, but just with uh, with alloys. It makes sixteen of these. And we're also going to need to make some, um, uh, oh here we go, power ingots, some restriction pipes, I mean tubes. And uh, I only need four of those, but uh, I already have them all, so I'll just show you one. And I just put in pretty much uh, just a regular pneumatic tube with iron ingots. You can put them uh, on the side and the bottom, it doesn't really matter. And it gives you a restriction tube. And what this does is pretty much uh, it prevents. Uh, for the items to start getting, I guess, stuck in a loop, it just pr it doesn't let items come in, if they unless it's the only possible uh, destination they can go into. Um, I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but I'll show you guys in a second what I what I mean about that. So I'm just gonna put all these items in here. I already have all the required required items in that chest over there. Now, first things first, I'm gonna need the timer and the the filter. What I have here is just a regular lever and uh, I'm going to put the, f the, time, the timer and the filter right next to the, the chest here. Now as you can see here if I turn it on it makes the timer go in circles and you can set the interval. I'm going to put it at uh, one second. You can put it at less time but uh, considering, considering that the filter takes out one stack at a time I don't see how, how you could possibly need it to go any quicker unless you have insane amounts that needs to be sorted but uh, that's fine. 
and this lever just lets us turn it on and off the the filter pretty much. So we, what we have to do now here is uh, to put a let's see if I can mm. great. It's got a problem here to place it. Good thing I have some of that. Put that there for now. Crate. There you go. And then put the filter. Another thing I forgot to mention is you need to to change the directions of these machines. You need a, a screwdriver. I already have one made, but it's really simple to make. You just need a stick and a iron ingot and a diagonal shape. Mm, where's my screwdriver? Actually, here we go. Now, what we want is for the, the this X side to be pointing towards the chest. So, not like that. The other way around. And there you go. See the the X marks the spot. I guess that's where you want the input to come in from. Now, right now I have it turned off. I don't want any. I believe I have it turned off. Yeah, it should be off. Um. And that's where all the items are going to be thrown on. If I turn this on, it's just going to start spitting out the items out of this end. So I want to make sure I have the whole system ready before I turn that on. That's why I put the lever on there. So first, I want to put the, the sorting machines. Now, what I've done here already is set up the blue alloy wire behind. Sorry about the noise level. Hold on, let me put that down. Stupid rain. All right. All right, so I have this uh, blue alloy wire coming from our solar panels that I put out outside through a bad box into another bad box here. And now this helps with uh, the power loss. We put those halfway kind of deal. So I just put one here and uh, ran the blue alloy wire through the back. I put some covers in the front to keep it nice and clean. Now once I put the sorting machines down here, it will connect to this wire on top. It's just kind of a nice way to keep everything clean and organized. I don't want to have wires and everything running wild in here. So yeah, let's grab the, the sorting machines, some more covers, pneumatic tubes, the restriction tubes I mentioned. And now uh, these are all uh, sample items that we're going to put in the filter once we have, I mean, sorry, the, the sorting machine once we have everything sorted. So first let's put these down. You want to make sure that they're right underneath the where the blue alloy wire comes in. So it's just pretty much two slots in between. There you go. And I use the screwdriver to point. These eye looking things, you want them pointing to, towards where the item is coming in from. And uh, that red circle in the middle, it just means uh, if that lights up and remains lit up, it means the, the, the machine is jammed. It means it has an item inside that doesn't know what to do with it. And uh, it won't let any other items go through. So in, you know, for all purposes, the machine is jammed. And you want to make sure you don't, you don't have that problem. So now let's get some uh, some of this tube in here, into the machine, out, in, out, in, out. Go all the way around here, to the back, go, and down towards our chest. And that's pretty much what the, this whole layout is about. Just five chests. Now, I don't suggest doing uh, making like a, I guess like a sorting machine for every item. I just have that so I can have the the capability I guess to um, to add e other items as I, ha as I get them. If I change my mind on the sorting, if I want to uh, make it sort a different way in a different direction, whatever reason I have, it just helps that I have a, I don't have to destroy the whole system. I have the, the capability to just, you know, grow from there I guess. Now the next step is to set up the sorting machines. Now, here you have this icon over here, and that's the the, the main uh, I guess setting for the sorting machines. You want to scroll through here until you get this one, and it shows up with an, an extra box on the bottom. Now, what this does is I'm gonna set it to white. Is that if the m the item is not in in this list here, and it doesn't have a uh, color corresponding to it in the bottom, it will send it to white. So I guess white would be like the default color that if it doesn't find the item it will send it out to white and uh, we want to set up all the machines the same way to have this icon in the bottom and set it to white and that's what we want the default color to be because what we're going to do here is we're going to set up all the four machines to have all the, the respective colors and then make the last test here 
paint it white. Actually, I'm going to do the, the painting now, I guess. Show you guys. And grab this. And it's pretty much, if it's not, if the item hasn't been uh, uh, placed in one of the sorting machines, so it's not being sorted, it will go into this last chest. It just means that uh, it hasn't been, uh, yeah, it just hasn't been sorted. Let's put that on top, grab this. I don't need the screwdriver for now, so I'm just going to paint these right now. Let's go over all these, and they're all different colors. There you go. Now, I don't need these any. I don't, I don't need these anymore. I do need the white one, and I'll show you guys why. Because what we're going to do here, actually, I deposit the white one, is we want to paint this one here white. And what this means is that, um, once the item comes in and it's not in this machine, it will go to white. So it means it will go to the next machine. So if let's say we have diamond in, in that machine being sorted, it will come into here. It won't recognize diamond because it's not in the machine. It will throw it to white because it's the, the, the default color to the next machine and so on until it gets to the last one. If it still hasn't been, uh, I guess, identified, it will still pump it out to white, which is why it will pump it out to this test over here. And, uh, and yeah, now what we want to do here is put some uh, covers in front of the white um, tube. And that's to avoid the, the next pipe that I'm going to put in to connect to it. So it's, a, it's a great, not, not only a great way to keep um, things clean, but also a great way to, uh, to not let the, uh, the pipes connect. And when you have, I'm sorry, not let the tubes connect, because the pipes, you can have uh, different kinds of pipes like a stone, cobblestone, to not let them connect. With pneumatic tubes, they will connect unless you put a cover in between or you change the color of the, type of the, of the pipes. So now what we want to do here is set up some restriction tubes coming out out of all these machines. Now, pretty much what it's going to do is if it, sets, if it uh, assigns a color, it's going to send it out to the restriction tube because the color is going to be different than white. So the only possible destination that it can go is through here, th through the restriction tube. And what this will do is will avoid, I mean, prevent items to come from the second sorting machine back to the first one. It will always send them forward, pretty much. And I'll just connect these in between uh, with uh, pneumatic tubes. So we do it like this. And there you go. So pretty much if an uh, item gets detected here and uh, it assigns a color to it, it will send it out this outside pipe into this end right here. And what I'll do is I'll put the color that I want the item to go into, into that first machine, which will be, I guess, to keep it, keep things organized, I'll make the first machine be the first chest, which will be yellow. So what I want to do now is, um, uh, oh, here, let me put the cover machine there. I knew I had a slot for that. I'll grab all these items, and I'll start putting them into the sorting machines. Now, I received a comment when I made the... There's a the advanced machine tutorial that uh, I didn't show the, the diamond filters in there. And I guess, uh, you know, I, I kind of overlooked that. But uh, here I'll show you guys what I put in every single one of the sorting machines. So the first one's going to be yellow. Now you have to match the color exactly, not just like if it looks like it, because there's so many different colors, it has to be the exact match. So now the first one I want it to be, the, I guess, like gems and precious materials. So I'll put like sapphire, ruby, emeralds, diamonds, and uh, tungsten on here now if you want to add more items to that chest just gotta select the same color again as yellow and in, uh, in this bottom machine and uh, the bottom color selector I guess so you can have quite a few items going to the same chest or you can even have like I get you could do the job of, of all these four uh, sorting machines with one if you have very few items but, but like I mentioned I want to have the ability to grow later on and uh, just pretty much assign one sorting machi machine per chest so they will all have the same color in the bottom. Now right now I don't, I don't have to assign them because they don't, I don't have any items for them. So I just go up ahead. Now here I want to have the, what color is it? It's uh, red. I want to have the bars, the ingots in here. Now I know I have more than uh, just five items so I have to assign two of these. Actually here I went up further by left clicking if you right click you go back one color so you know you can do it pretty quickly once you see the the color flash you can stop or just right click if you went up too far so now I put gold 
all these bars and ingots in here. And uh, there you go. Since I have one more, I just that's why I use two. And you can add other bars in here if you want. And here I want to use it as um, this would be I guess like uh, the usable, the consumption material like nickelite, coal, and redstone, lapis as well. And that will be blue. So I'll go do that one right now. Set it up where it's blue. Oh, there you go. Put the nickelite, coal, redstone, and lapis. Now you can obviously you don't have to do exactly this way, but just the way uh, I find it easier to find items that way. I know like the consumable items like this, pressures and uh, bars are all in the same chest. And for this last one, I want to use the um, pretty much what I make with the compressor, which is uh, refined uranium, carbon plates, uh, advanced alloys, and uh, rubber. Now rubber obviously comes from the extractor, but uh, it's pretty much material I use to make other machines. And uh, obviously the uranium we used for the nuclear reactor that we made in the previous episode. And that is the green uh, color. Now I just passed by one green one, but that was the light green. You want the dark green. You want, Like I mentioned before, you want to match the exact same color. Now I'm going to fill this up to cover everything up. You could use um, a hollow cover to hide the, the pipes in the back but I like to see the color so I can um, so I, even though I have them in order as a as a sort of machine I can remember what color each chest goes into um, let's click there. there you go and now the whole system should be working and let's put that to the test now we have all these random items that we've been getting from the quarry and uh, if we switch this lever items should start being pumped out eventually come on oh there you go I guess it was on the whole time but it was just jammed because you have the color here but yeah as you can see the why is it getting jammed now what's going on oh I swear oh there you go that's why I set the timer facing the wrong way. You have to face it so that this l bottom line, it's down, and that's where you would receive the redstone signal. Uh, I gotta t change the timer again. Put it at one second. There you go, and that's on. All right. So as you can see, it it is working. I mean, all the items are being assigned a color. If they uh, get assigned a color earlier in the in the line, they pump out into this other tube and then pump back out into the same tube that feeds into all these chests and you can see the items coming in from the back with a uh, have a, this ring of color around the items and now uh, like I mentioned this filter uh, it pretty much pumps out a stack at a time depending on the speed of the of the timer so I mean it's, it's a lot more efficient than the redstone engines obviously because that one only pumps out one item at a time but uh, as you can see here, obviously I didn't have any advanced alloys or uh, carbon plates and stuff like that. And this is the, I did it on purpose, I put some obsidian, obsidian in here so I can test out if the items that were not filtered were going into the last chest. Now I could literally dump my whole alchemical bag into that initial t uh, chest. It will process any items that will be need to be processed, go into that last chest, go through the filter, get sorted into the appropriate chest. So in the end, I uh, let me look take a look here. I have all these random items. All this stuff is gonna probably go into the into the uh, into the last chest because it's not hasn't been sorted. But like carbon plates will get sorted into the right spot. Uh, coal will go into the right spot. Diamond wool as well. And it's just a matter of fine tuning it to your liking and uh, setting up the the filters and the sorting machines and the chest as much as you want. Now you can expand this and make it. <laughs> as big as you want you can set it up as a uh, 10 sorting machines if you want to pretty much sort every item in the game but I don't see any use for that but uh, I mean everyone has their 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 liking I guess so yeah if you have any questions hope you like the, qu uh, the video but if you have any questions uh, make sure you leave a comment down below and try to answer the best I can it is a long video and uh, there's a lot to take in but uh, hopefully you guys learned something and uh, if you like the video make sure you like and, and subscribe bye